Mm-hmm. So look at this, we got a high resolution, 14 inch color monitor blurbs and greetings and things. Uh, yeah, this is uh, just a blurb video about this thing I picked up because I saw it and it looked quite useful. Uh, and yeah, you just don't come across these new old stock monitors um, as often anymore. I mean, I don't know, I, I keep finding them for some reason. So this one in particular, okay, is kind of interesting. So I actually saw this on an online posting on the CRT Gaming subreddit. Somebody just made a post asking like, oh, look at this thing, it's on eBay, new old stock. It seems like it might not suck. So I'm like, I don't know, I mean, yeah, yeah, sure. I don't know, I'll, you know, I'll buy one myself, so here it is. It's by Videology. This is a company that primarily does CCTV, like security cameras and displays and things like that. And I believe that's pretty much what this is for. Hopefully that didn't do any damage. But uh, yeah, it's uh, it's got some interesting features despite not being a very high resolution, even though it says that's what it is. It's only around 400 TV lines from what I can tell, but it, uh, you know, it does some different things. It goes PAL and NTSC auto switching, which is always cool. And uh, yeah, different power and 50 and 60 Hertz and stuff. So neat, uh, kind of like some of my uh, like smaller PVMs, but this is unused. In, in fact, it, far as I, as far as I know, this is actually made in the mid 2000s, <laughs> like 2006 or seven maybe, which is fascinating. And that was the black version. I guess they came in other ones. There was also an RGB variant available, which gives me hope that this would actually be pretty easy to mod and make it RGB because yeah, as it is, it's just a composite, as far as I know, with, um, I think, uh, BNC connectors. So whatever. Let's open it up. See what we got going on here. Even if it is just composite, that's fine by me really, because I actually don't have like any sets this size. And the ones that I do, well, you know, they're just like composite only. And the ones that I do, they're either like an inch or two smaller or they're like really old and the tube is crap. I mean, you know, it would have been a good tube, but it's just old and, you know, they wear out and the colors are not right anymore and the brightness isn't quite there. And, you know, there's always those issues. So, really hope that this is halfway decent. I mean, 400 TV lines is still better than like a consumer TV set. I think those are usually around 300. CRT collectors, man, um, folks like me. We're happy to snap this up for the price. I think it was $150, like shipped. So hard to beat that. I would have probably paid twice that. Let's see if I can get out of this box. The damage to the box and packaging material is making it hard to get out. There we go. Lovely. Yeah, it was all smushed up in there. Wow. I've always rather enjoyed the uh, simple industrial aesthetic of uh, CCTV monitors. <laughs> That's the other thing too. Did I mention that? It's color. Yeah, I mean, the, the, a lot of these were black and white. So, uh, Oh my word, that smells <sighs> phenomenal. I would wear that as a cologne, dude. That uh, has a sweet smell. The electronics goodness going on there, just the aging, but I think it's like the, am I smelling like that? A little bit of plastic paint uh, and yeah, it's like painted metal on the outside. That is a phenomenal aroma. Check that out, dude. <laughs> Would you look at this thing? Get a better angle here. Look at that cube. Aesthetics alone, very pleased because it's so simple. No logos, no obnoxious styling. 
It's just kind of ugly in a best possible way. Like you could plop this in the background of an 80s villain's lair and that'd be great. So we do have a little manual here for the 40V M14H. Uh, oh, wow, this says issue date 2013, February 25th, 2013, wow. So that's even newer than I thought, at least when this was printed. Very, very simple monitor, just a little preface there going over its features, what you can do with it, which is whatever you want. Yeah, a wide range of uses, industrial or home use. Yeah, it's so simple, <laughs> refreshingly so. Uh, do you have a little spot for termination back there, but it's a switch you don't probably have to use. Like I've got you know, some of these that I have, I use with one of my PVMs. So this one is a little 75 ohm terminator, and then I will be using this BNC to regular RCA composite, but I don't think I'll need the terminator. Doesn't mention anything about like a service menu exactly, but there is a menu of some kind. And yeah, videology imaging solutions. I like these handles on the side. Look, look at this thing. Ribbed for your pleasure. Yeah, nice little power cable there, standard thing. And yeah, just those two in terms of the inputs. Actually, there's an input and output. So uh, composite video in and out over B and C with the uh, little selector there, depending on if you're connecting other things to it. But, you know, for output, I'm not going to. So we're just gonna put this right here and uh, probably grab a Sega Genesis, no remote. So that's a thing, but whatever, it's fine. Oh, the ha 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 ha. All right, let's see what we got. That 15 kilohertz wine. Turn off this light. Yeah. All right, let me get the uh, refresh rate going. Interesting. It seems to be at 50 hertz for the moment. But yeah, that's uh, shutter speed of 60 on my camera, and there's 50. So, uh, all right. Well, let's see what we got in the menu. Oh, man, this thing is phenomenally bright. That has got to be the brightest, most vibrant CRT I have maybe ever seen. Jeez. Certainly, it's been years. It's not even full. You gotta be kidding. That is searingly bright. I've gone through a fair number of uh, new old stock CRTs, but this, this is on another level. Good grief. Wow, that is an extremely simple menu. I wonder if there is, a, there's sometimes like a combination you can press to to get a hidden menu. No, it doesn't, doesn't look like. Let's say, oh, nope, let's, nope, nope. <laughs> what have I done? There we go. All right, well, uh, this looks incredible. Let me see if I can get something plugged in. Interesting that it boots up in 50 hertz, though. <laughs> boots, like it's a computer. I, I, I primarily talk about computers here. Uh, anyway, yeah, yeah. All right, Sega Genesis Model 1 plugged in. Get that 50 hertz flicker going. Uh, okay, yeah, so it switched over to 60. So it just defaults to 50 hertz on startup, I guess. So that's a thing. But anyway, it synced just fine when I uh, got the Mega SD cartridge going in uh, Genesis Model 1 up here. And in terms of how it looks, I mean, good grief, it's looking pretty great for its size. Yeah, <laughs> not bad. Uh, certainly at least on par with uh, my smaller Trinitrons, like just, you know, consumer TV set type of things. Nah, it's looking good, man. <laughs> That's looking real good. <laughs> That's honestly much better than I was expecting. Yeah, being CCTV, or you know, that's what it was geared for. You never know. And 
you I do have external speakers going here because while it does have speakers, I think it doesn't actually have anywhere to plug in audio that I can find. Or just, there's certainly nothing listed in the manual. It just, you know, you have video in and out. That's it. Even though it has a volume control on the front here. So you can control volume. I'm assuming though that this front panel and like the speaker that's here was just available on maybe another model that they had available and they just use the same parts. Oh man, hope that's in focus uh, and not looking too pattern-y. Looks good to me, pretty good anyway. It's hard to tell with the, uh, <laughs> yeah, the smaller CRTs and the moiré patterns and all that kind of stuff. And this looks really good. Like for the size, not many complaints here. Definitely not like PVM or BVM quality by any stretch of the imagination, but uh, it doesn't need to be. It's just a, it's just a nice composite monitor. Well, okay. That's awesome. So I am uh, <laughs> highly enjoying this. Get some of this going. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's definitely a bit soft in terms of like, compared to uh, a little higher end professional monitor, but it's just it's those colors, the vibrancy, the brightness, man, in person. I'm gonna do the best I can to get that looking good in camera or, you know, while editing or whatever, because man, it, it, this is, the, the reds and the blues and the, just, it, it, it's all fantastic looking. It's so fresh. I do wish I could hear what the speaker sounded like in the actual monitor though. <laughs> like it's just a shame to have all of like the, you know, the, the stuff to do that and the, you can't actually do anything with it. Maybe there's a, a way to hook it up, hook it up internally or something. I don't know. Just looking around back here, like seeing if there would maybe even be like an area that kind of would. Yeah, there's like a, maybe a spot beside the video. Yeah, you know, like maybe off to the side here or something. You could imagine a model that would have the audio in and out right beside the video in and out, but I don't know. I have to look into that. See if maybe there is a. A version of this same display with audio uh, inputs because it seems we have at least whoops a spot for speaker <laughs> well anyway uh that's it I, that's all i really wanted to show with this blurb yeah the videology 40 vm 14h 
fantastic. And uh, just fortunate to have uh, run across that post when I did and got one before they sold out because there were only, I think, five available. So, yeah, actually, the, the seller reached out to me as well. He was like, hey, how did you find out about this? Did you see the listing? Was it the picture? Was it the d description, title? What, what really? Because they all sold out really quick and he didn't know what was going on. I'm like, oh yeah, I saw a thing on Reddit. And he's like, oh, okay, well. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's it for this blurb. I am happy to have this. Definitely gonna keep this here at the house set up for uh, various things whenever I need like a quick composite display like this. Would be lovely if it had RGB or S video or something too, but I don't know, maybe it could be modded. I'm sure it can. I've just never done that. So uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching this blurb. This thing is so cool.